There's not a cutter on the market today that could slice a ripe tomato like this one. And I don't care how soft, watery, runny, mushy, or gooey those tomatoes might be. Right to the end, you'll get perfect thick slices. But if someone in the family does have braces or dentures and can't chew the corn off the cob, you're still doing that job at home with a knife. You have to have the patients have a saint do this with an ear of corn and a knife all day long. Watch how easy. And cooked or raw, doesn't matter, lay it in the center. With the heel of your hand, you brush it over the blade. You'll cut the corn, look at this, three to five rows at a time. They're all whole firm kernels, never smashed or mashed. And you see how nice it cuts it off the cob? I'll put it up front. You won't find any cob in there either, but wait you see. If those cuts are too thick, take the platform out. Turn it over to where it says thin slicer insert. And if you make bread and butter pickles or cucumber and onion salad, you know the secrets, how thin you cut the cucumber. Look at this. I'd like to see you cut anything that fast, safe or thin with a knife. Onions or tomatoes. Slice potatoes for potato chips. Perfect thin slices. So the last cut that I show you with the flat one is coleslaw. Everyone likes to eat it. Nobody likes to make it. A large head of cabbage, cut it in quarters. A small head, you could just cut it in half. And just like the wooden sauerkraut board, it looks so much like you brush your cabbage over the blade. You could make German-style sauerkraut or Polish-style kapusta, but watch what I do. Because you run your cabbage down about halfway so that you don't endanger your fingers, please stop. Now put the core onto that holder. You'll run it right to the end. If you make tacos, taco salad or subs, shred lettuce up the same way. And I only do a little bit here just to show you, but I think you'll agree. Your cabbage or lettuce would come out of that cutter nice as could be, and it's fresh as well. The next time that you see mother or grandmother with the celery in one hand, the butcher knife in the other, chasing it halfway across town, try and chop it up, you will remember this part. You've never chopped celery this easy in your whole life. Look at this. You brush it over the blade for your soups, your stews or salads, meatloaf or meatballs, stuffing or dressing for turkey or chicken. Look at this. How long would it have taken you to chop up that much celery with a knife? The most miserable thing in the kitchen to chop has got to be an onion. We shed more tears over one onion than we do over anything else. No smell in your hands. No tears in your eyes. Look at this. In two seconds time here, right to the root, no waste or cuts, and no more tears chopping those nasty old onions. If you want to dice a tomato for any reason, you are going to love this. Processors and blenders are great, but they spin too fast. If you throw one of these in a blender, you're going to drink your taco. Watch this. Two cuts across your tomato is plenty. If you enjoy a good fresh fruit salad, apples, pears, or cantaloupe, never in your life have you diced anything this fast, this safe, or this easy before.